Well, sweetgrass is a sacred herb in Native American culture and tradition. Sweetgrass is also becoming extremely scarce. One local person is carrying on the tradition of making necklaces using sweetgrass in honor of a, de of a deceased elder from Mille Lacs. Hannah Tran has more in this week's Community Spotlight. Sweetgrass is a grass often referred to as the hair of Mother Earth. Sweetgrass takes away negative energy and replaces it with positive. Darlene Stone is trying to keep the teachings of her mentor alive, who passed away several years ago. A Mille Lacs elder, my friend, and she was my teacher. She was born in a wigwam on the shores of Mille Lacs Lake and taught many classes using sweet grass. In memory of Stone's mentor, she will also carry on this tradition of making necklaces with sweet grass to ensure that this basic cultural knowledge continues. It is in her honor that I will teach this class so the basic knowledge will go on. Sessions like these don't happen quite often. Sweetgrass is becoming scarce. It's not as abundant as it once was. It's ceremonial, it's sacred. I gotta tell you, it needs to survive, and it won't if no one teaches. This sweetgrass necklace tutorial was at the Northland Arboretum this afternoon. The sweetgrass also has several other nicknames. It is also called bison grass or wing gush. It represents the north. I told you that you always cut it. You always tell the creator miigwech or thank you. This session was not only an artistic experience, but a spiritual one. Stories and lessons of the Ojibwe culture were shared. These hands were busy, but minds were relaxed and reflective. Nothing heals like when you tap into your own human soul and you take something of yourself. Bottom line, it's just Nature that heals and through art you can express that. These sacred strands of sweet grass have a variety of unique meanings. Today, however, it gave peace of mind and extended the endurance of a long time tradition. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. Stone did not reveal the name of the elder who passed away. The elder was a tribal artist and a teacher. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.